Alright, so Capricorn. We're going to see what's going to come up for you today. Now, keep in mind, this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. And another thing, Capricorn, look at this. So we have gems, crystals, stones, which will also be in the description down below if you're interested in this. This is blue calcite. I have more variety than just this. This is just an example. Alright. We also have tarot classes, money spells, love spells, protection spells, which will also be in the description down below. And if you'd like to become a member, feel free to do so. Okay, Capricorn? So, let's have a look at what's currently going on with you, and then some messages and advice for you. The sea goat. Capricorn. <laughs> You have your cards trying to come out in every direction. So what is Capricorn's current situation as of right now? Oh my goodness. You've unlocked another level, a higher level of manifestation here, Capricorn. You have this more clarity, like this more mental clarity on how to visualize and manifest what you want in your life. It's just like, you unlock this in some way. You did. Splitting the deck, we have the Ace of Swords with the Magician. This is a powerful energy with you currently, Capricorn. God. <laughs> These readings, man, they're so holy. So let's get into it, shall we? We have the Temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy. We have the Hermit, which is Virgo. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords, which is air energy. The Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. The Nine of Swords. The Queen of Wands, which is fire energy. Two of Swords, Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, the Fool, which can be seen as Aries energy and the Ace of Cups. Look at you. Yes, manifesting your wish here, Capricorn. That is what you are doing. That is what you want within yourself here to really unlock this manifestation to get your wish. Nine of Cups, Magician, Temperance, Hermit, Ace of Cups, The Fool. It is it is already in your life or it is coming into your life very soon. This new beginning. Alright, what you've been wishing for. Can't even be multiple things. It's multiple things, Capricorn. It's not just one thing. It's like you've unlocked this, this ability to really get what you want in your life from now on. Because you are at that higher level. Okay, that higher vibration. This has really been, like, that's what you've been journeying on. Alright, Nine of Wands, the Hermit. You really went within to do this, to get this new, new passion, this new vibration. Okay, and there's also people here. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Two of Swords, right? Nine of Swords. You got multiple people in your reading. So. Maybe you're, you're talking to people about this, or people are talking to you about this. Fire and air. Can be manifesting people. Can be manifesting better people. Can be manifesting better opportunities in your life. You already know what it is. What your wish is, Capricorn, it is coming in. Most definitely. Alright, 
All right, so let's see. Some messages and advice for you. So. Relaxation. Okay, relaxing, Capricorn. Relax. Don't worry, don't stress. Move forward, because you are moving forward here. All right, you're moving towards this Ace of Cups, this new, new starts. Really, patience. It's telling me, Capricorn, be patient, relax, because you are, you are at this high level manifestation. Worrying is not going to do anything for you. You are already moving forward here. We have solitude. Yeah, take some time out to yourself and relax. Capricorn. I wish this didn't reflect so much, so then you could see it better. But it's it's glossy, so we have hope. It's time you to like have hope. Have positive thoughts. Cause you do have blessings coming in. I don't know how to make it better. We have waiting. Yeah, what you've been waiting for is coming in, and on the bottom of the deck we have magic, so you can even be messing around with magic, maybe that's how you are, maybe that's what you unlocked here, and I'm talking about positive magic, I'm not talking about dark stuff, because otherwise you wouldn't have blessings coming in, either way, understand, support, okay, you're going to have people who support you with this, maybe that's why the two queens are there, six of pentacles, alright, there's some sort of system of support, free spirit, you're more in that free spirit, the fool, okay, Relax, really enjoy your life. Breaking free. No restrictions are on you, Capricorn. And this is energetically wise. This is like conscious wise. This is vibration, okay? Because you're no longer like a normal person. You've moved forward. Trust. It's telling you to have trust because things are working out for you. Okay? Discernment. In love. Could even be love. Or maybe just love in your life. Goodness, your cards aren't even going to shuffle. <laughs> Number six, looking at the underbelly. Be sure that you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking time to organize yourself, or perhaps a project you are working on can use some fine-tuning. So Capricorn, that is a message for you there. I love these cards. Like, these are, like, honestly, some of, like, one of the best, like, sort of ocean mermaid watery cards that I have. Number 48, disengage from outcomes. Let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. So yeah, let go of worry. Right? Because things are coming in, Capricorn. Number 17, safe and surrounded by love. Keep your heart open and know that you're being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. Look at this. Support Capricorn, surrounded by love, people who support you. Alright, and this is also spirits who support you, obviously. Number 20, shared inspiration. Throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fulfills your heart. So go, really go for what you want in your life, Capricorn. What's pulling you? Alright, what's inspiring you? And maybe you're going to be working on people with this as well, like collaborating here. Number 44, unexplained wonder. Magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. All your prayers are answered now. Like this, miracles, Capricorn, untold blessings. You understand? Number 10, every step counts. There's an advantage in taking things slowly. Read deeply and fully as you consider your options. So, you know, take small steps, take slow steps, take your time. There's no rush here. Everything, everything's gonna do it. We have number one with resilience. There's no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. 
Get the term determination and patience to handle what is happening. Yes, Capricorn. Number 29, with empower yourself. Tune into your personal power. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be the strong, beautiful person you are capable of being. Okay, that's another message. I like, I like these cards. Number 17, farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. Look at this, we're talking about the moon energy, Capricorn. All right, so you may be very connected to the moon, feeling those moon cycles as we approach new moons, full moons, you know, all that sorts of stuff. It can also be stuff manifesting under the moon. You understand? This is like a very magical time for you. Blessings. Number 12, the present. Gift treasure, revelation of own value, nowness. Yeah, this is telling you to treasure yourself, and you got gifts coming in. Presents. Alright, presents from the universe, a divine gift here. We have number 27, adrift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Yeah, it's telling you to let go. Let go of worry. Let go of, you know, I know that may be hard, but just trust because the universe is gifting you things. The universe, that you have blessings that are manifesting here currently for you, Capricorn. So let go and trust. Number six was energy field adjustment or cleansing and health. Energy field adjustment. Okay, so make sure you, you, you cleanse your energy when you ever do start feeling doubt, worry, or anxiety. Some of you may even be doing that currently, okay? Number 42, wave of power. A surge of power, upswing in energy, exhilarating movement, yet more power, Capricorn. You're stepping into that powerful energy. Number 34, Yamaya. Or Yamaya. I don't know exactly which pronunciation is this. Grandmother Ocean Primordials. This can also be fertility as well. Alright. Does not have to be, but it, it, you know, babies, pregnancies, births, all represent creating something new. It can represent fertility, creativity. Whichever one applies to you, Capricorn. Whichever one you're, you're trying for. <laughs> Number 35, the crane bag. Sacred ocean, medicine, clutter, declutter, choice. Letting go of clutter. Okay? Letting go of worry. Because you have things manifesting for you here. You have number 30 with telepathy, nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, mind reading. Look at this. You may even be experiencing telepathing to people. Someone telepathing to you. Okay? So. This. On the bottom of this deck here, Capricorn, we have number three with receptivity. Allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to give. Look at this, yeah. Giving and receiving. There's that abundant energy. You realize that's what attracts abundance as well, is you being in that generous energy, because that's what's attracted right back towards you. Some people don't really realize that, but that is actually one of the main things that attracts abundance towards you is being in that giving energy capability. Number 42, in each other we find ourselves. You know what this card talks about, Capricorn? This talks about you going through a spiritual journey here in life, and through that, you're meant to encounter, in, encounter, encounter certain people, alright? These are people that you are both going to learn and grow from one another. They're meant to be in your life. This can be friends, this can be family, this can be lovers, okay? I feel like these are people, these are the people that are supporting you, okay? 
either in your life currently or coming into your life. Be number five, rare intersection of heaven and earth. Look at this. This is you, Capricorn. You're in that rare intersection of heaven and earth, okay? You are connected to both. And that is why, that is why, Capricorn, that you are in this heavy manifestation mode, right? Because you are connect, you're, you're like that connector, right? That medium, okay? Number 43, honor the light. So this is telling you to honor the light within yourself. Because you do have special talents, you do have special abilities. Honor that. Don't let it, you know... Really be proud of who you are, because you are something special here. Not everyone's reading is like this. Number 8, she who rides the owl brings justice. Capricorn, what this talks about is justice. Alright, things are being worked out for you. If something was done wrong to you, justice is coming to the wrongdoer, alright? can also just be things balancing. Number 10, Guardian of Pap... Some long weird word. So we're going to have a look at that card, Capricorn, because I don't remember what exactly that's about. And there's so much to these cards here. Capricorn, you have a very strong connection to the spiritual realm, to your spirit guides, okay? You are being protected. It's telling you to trust in this because things are working out. You have the universe balancing this all out. You are being protected, okay? Guardian. Guarded. And you're going to be, like, connecting more to the spiritual s stuff, you know, spirit guides. Angels, gods, goddesses, and more. Number eight with Bath Cole. So let's have a look at this card here, Capricorn. issue, complicated explanations. As you seek the simplicity, deepest truth of your heart, gently but firmly cast aside that which does not resonate as being true for your heart. Focus upon and seek from a higher spiritual perspective. All prayers are answered at the perfect time, Capricorn, and in the perfect way. You have a powerful voice which can foster healing and wisdom on our planet. Look at this. Go for what resonates for you. Go what feels true to you. What What is your calling here, okay? What do you feel called towards? What do you want to do, okay? And look at this. You are have a powerful voice. You have a powerful energy to you, Capricorn. You're meant to do something here, Capricorn. Think about things. Meditate things before you just jump into it, okay? Look at this. From a higher spiritual perspective, and all your prayers are answered at the perfect time. That's telling you to trust. What have we been talking about? Number 23, Beta of Wolf Spirit, or Spirit Wolf. Either way, same thing. Give yourself enough rest, only then will you be able to ground yourself enough to cultivate focus and motivation to fulfill your path. You'll find a way through any tricky situation as you tune into your instincts and trust your own timing. From times of change and un uncertainty comes confidence, love, and resilience. Embrace transition, commit to your task, and stay focused but flexible in your approach. You have the skill to intuitively handle any issues. Yeah, like this. Give yourself enough rest. Relaxation. Okay? Ground yourself. And then that's how you really focus and, and go through. Or you move forward, right? You're going to overcome any challenge here, Capricorn. 
okay? There's nothing to worry about. You can handle anything. Listen to your intuition as well, like, you, you really focus on that. Number six was Shikenna. The spiritual worlds want to help you resolve your worldly concerns. It is safe for you to rely on spirit as a loving, protective, helpful, and pra practical presence. A bit <clears throat> able. <laughs> To positively affect all areas of your life, including facilitating the resolution of physical problems. Do not limit your spirituality co to concepts. Instead, apply your higher knowledge and principles, grow your wisdom, and live on your path, Capricorn. What feels true to you? You understand? Acknowledge your value as a person, as a soul, treasure the gift of your path, and let your spirituality integrate with all facets of your life. Look at this. Spiritu what are we talking about? Spiritual worlds. Spirit is going to be taking care of you, okay, to resolve your concerns, to make your wishes come true here. It is safe for you to trust that, alright, and really go towards what what feels best for you when, when we're talking about a spiritual side, okay? What beliefs feel true to you, okay? Live your own path. Don't just, like, follow a certain structure. You understand? Do what what feels right to you. Okay. There's not a certain there's honestly not a certain structure that you need to follow with this this, this type of stuff. It's it's very free. So Capricorn that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget like subscribe. Bye, guys.